How's it going guys? Welcome back to Super Fancy Pants Adventures. We are just taking off back to the volcano approach. Set her down there, El Capitan. And then, uh, do you got anything you want to say? Am I bobbing his ship up and down by jumping around on it? Really capable of throwing your weight around on there, aren't you? Maybe if we run back and forth on it, we can get like, get it rocking back and forth, get this thing to tip over. I just thought it would be kind of fun. Probably, probably not something I should do. I shouldn't ruin it for him. Ink dash. What? I haven't had this ability the whole time, have I? That's awesome. Let me try that. Holy crap. That's, is that new? Did I only just, maybe, maybe I just unlocked that with the ink spout in the, the ship that I suck it in? That's so cool. I, you just, this is no different than what you were selling before, right? I just, I just had bought some of this stuff from, from this guy at the very end of the last episode there. So there's nothing, I got no squiggles to, to spend right now. Nowhere, nowhere I can make use of that at the moment. Does breaking those ink blocks not provide me with ink? No, I think I have to kill the actual ink enemies for that. Does ink dashing through these guys provide me with ink? I don't think so. There's a lot of a lot of ways for me to waste ink, isn't there? Between the shooting and the ink blasting, and what the hell? Oh man, that's cool. The perspective shift and just the fact that there's this in the level. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and it's not just like a tunnel. It's like a straight up teleporter because I can do it straight out of the middle of the sky there. There, that's weird. There's no explanation for why it exists, but it's cool. Ah, oh, I like the springboards that take you in and out of the depth of the level too. That's really awesome. I, I think, I think I like that a lot. That's like the first time it's used it since like the very beginning opening thing too. Can I slide kick these guys? Crap, I didn't think so because they look like they were ink-based enemies, and that doesn't seem to ever be the case for ink enemies. Ah. Why? Why is that one thing so difficult? Seems like it's not really worth it, don't you think? This actually provides ink, so it must be wanting me to do an ink dash. Well, it gave me a little bit too much air jumping up there, so it ruined my ability to properly jump an ink dash like I was planning to. So thanks for that, game. Thanks for making the setup so, so difficult and hard to pull off. Oh, I was just about to leave the level. Now I gotta try and ink dash my way across. There we go. Glad I saw that at the last second. Oh, probably gonna be an ink dash heavy heavy level then, isn't it? Now that this is like the whole new thing that they've introduced. Ah! You can press jump while dashing through a baddie. Oh crap. You must have to there must have to be so much like precise timing to pull that off properly. I'll save it for the part of the level that actually requires it. Nuts! Would help if you actually line it up properly oh god that was hard to do but now what oh I must have had to have jumped off that next guy as well it's really really difficult to get the timing up right sure it'll come easier with practice but what the hell was there nothing to get in this level was this maybe just here as like a lesson to teach me how to dash jump? That doesn't seem likely. Oh god, that's gonna be impossible to pull off. It's a good way to get the practice in, I guess. I hope that's not a frequent part of the levels, because I'm not good at it. Maybe I, I, I should be practicing on those first two guys there too, to make sure I get a, the littlest bit better at it. Crap. I think I have to pull it off so I dash once the one direction and turn around and go the other. I feel like it's one thing that I can't narrate the attempt on because I have to spend so much mental energy committing to pulling it off. Oh, come on. No, that's as close as I'm going to get, isn't it? Like, ah. Oh. Got the third, I got the third dash, but not the jump. Oh, I think these things respawn so quickly. Shit, good thing I respawn so quickly. I just missed him, I just went right over top of him that time. Yes, oh, please. Oh, come on. No, 
I have to do it again? Ah, that's so scary. Ugh. Oh, that's maybe the most trouble I've had with the challenge room yet. That, that, that might be like the most attempts I've ever spent on one of those. Holy, holy crap, that was causing me some stress. Ooh, sweet, is another level where I get to go through different depths of it. You can see squiggles and like one of those red spinorama things that I get to go to soon. But also on top of all that, there's like weird spinning islands and stuff. Not very volcano-y, but then again, my volcano knowledge is limited and mostly based on lava volcanoes. So perhaps this is much more common for an ink volcano? Well, I made that landing look easy. I really stuck the hell out of that. Hopefully that bodes well for this actual challenge room, because I'd, I'd love to not screw that up super hard. All right, hitting those enemies into each other is never gonna not be fun. For just any enemy, really. It doesn't necessarily have to be these ink bowling ball guys. Oh, crap. Oh, and they all respawn. I didn't think they all respawned. Well, good thing, according to me, that it will never not be fun, right? Oh, screw you guys. Screw you guys. I'm bashing you all to hell. <sighs> Better goof around a little bit less and try and actually get the kills on there, because I was I was jumping around and being, being a dummy. Oh, you stupid bastard. Is that it? Did I kill all of them before I started bothering making my way up the platform? Oh, there's one more to try and take me out at the very end there. Get out of here. Oh! That's the demon from the reincarnate, from like rein reincarnation. Is that the name of that series? Crap, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the name slightly wrong. But it's like uh, a popular Newgrounds series of point and click adventure games. I'm, I'm getting, I might be getting the name of the series wrong, and now I can't remember who made it either. I'll have to look it up in a second here, after I jump my way around off in, off in the distance and take out a few ink guys along the way. Oh, yes. That sort of sliding and ducking and everything was what I was hoping for. I screwed it up there. Alright, now, now I've given myself the chance to go look this up. The incarnation was right, and Lil G... Well, G is the developer that I was trying to think of. I'll keep it on for a little bit at least. Not going that lower way this time. Oh, I think I kind of have to though. I need it to get the momentum built up to make that jump. Oh crap, I almost, almost flung myself off the edge there before I would have the chance to fling myself back into the proper depth of the screen here. That's like my favorite part is the way that you move in and out of that. I love it so much. I used to do that in like... Uh, the new Donkey Kong Country games, too, and I always thought it was really fun at, in those as well. I don't know, maybe you do it in, like, Rayman and stuff, too. Maybe it's, like, a super common thing. Maybe it's uh, an older mechanic than that, even. I strictly know it from newer platformer-type games, but that might not be, and it's exclusively a, a new idea that... Whoa, were those... Did I knock those all off? I knocked those right out of the world there. Whoa, cool, we're getting moving platforms, more moving platforms and stuff, which is something that I, I really like in these types of games too. I feel like I'm crossing the bridge of the Mines of Moria. You know the scene? Everyone knows the scene. Whoops. Where's Aragorn? I need Aragorn to help toss me across here. I can't seem to quite pull off this jump on my own. Wait a second. Are the portals, is that design a lined piece of paper? Is that what I'm seeing there? Because I was trying to think, whoa, that wasn't a challenge room door. That's peculiar. That, that threw me off a little bit. Well, what would this one be? Is this one going to be a challenge room or is this going to be just like a regular, oh crap. Or is it just going to take me to the next part of, a, of the world or something? That's cool. I think the portals are like pages, which is super awesome. I was thinking... It must have been hard to to make a, a portal design that was anything other than the one that everyone knows, just because it would be so tempting to make it like a blue and orange portal, right? But that's kind of like very iconic of one particular series. People would definitely criticize if you were to like imitate that. Timing this is going to be a pain now, isn't it? Come on! Wait a second, if you hold jump when you ink dash on these guys, it might auto jump you. It does! I think it auto jumps you. All that time that I spent being so terrible at that, all I had to do was hold jump. 
Oh, that's such a- that's the worst! That's the absolute worst, I can't believe that. Oh, god, okay, that's gonna be a little bit tricky. <laughs> I got it, no! <laughs> that was terrifying. Are these musical notes? Oh, nice musical pants. I like the looks of those. That, the same thing just happened to me that happened to me once more a few episodes ago is when I got those pants. There's something about the background in that level that makes the colors, like, comparatively look a little bit off. And so when I got these white pants they're in the footage, I'm like, ooh, these look kind of silvery blue. They're clearly just white. These ones, again, look like they were something other than just plain white. Weird, weird trick of the eye there. Oh wait, if I jump past this, oh crap, just about didn't make it at all. If I jump past this, then there's this guy over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh crap, I wasn't expecting that to fling me into the foreground like that. Ah, uh, that's how you know it's a challenge room, is it has the checkbox on the front of it there. I didn't know to look out for that. Come on, that's so hard to pull off, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. What? Oh no! Now something broke and it thinks I'm permanently in that one, the, the depth that I died in because I died as I was leaping. Come on, you gotta, come on fancy man, you gotta be able to land. Well, it looks like I got uh, a bug to report. I, I may have broken things slightly here. Dying while changing depths results in permanently being stuck in that depth. Hmm, I guess I'm probably gonna have to like teleport myself and come back there and, and restart the volcano approach or whatever. So next time guys I'll play back to that point so that you don't have to watch me redo all that stuff again and then we'll carry on from there, finish up the volcano approach, got the volcano to take care of after that and then possibly we'll do some kind of wrap up or whatever but hey, I got like a bug to report. It's like the first time I've had the uh, ability to do that. It's the first time I've encountered anything major. Cool. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.